Hi, this is Tony Gualda with Arthrex Vet Systems here with Dr. Helen Newman, the Director of Veterinary Transplant Services, a professional veterinary tissue bank. Welcome to our fourth podcast in a series about our partnership with VTS and new biologic products we're offering. Today we're talking to Helen about Synergy, an advanced biosynthetic bone graft. Hi, Helen. Hey, Tony. Helen, can you tell us more about Synergy and how it's used? Sure. As you said, uh, Synergy is an advanced biosynthetic bone graft. It's mineral-based hydroxyapatite, and beta-tricalcium phosphate. Technically, it's called a biphasic ceramic, which means the HA and the TCP are both centered together in each particle. It's not like one particle is HA and one particle is TCP, and that's an important advancement in um, synthetic bone graft substitutes. It's basically designed to be the architectural equivalent of cancellous bone. It's got interconnected porous structure. And this is unlike any other synthetic that's currently on the market. The beta tricalcium phosphate component is designed to resorb relatively quickly as the new bone is formed, but the HA, the hydroxyapatite particles, remain around longer to provide an osteoconductive scaffold. So how long have synthetics been used in orthopedic surgery? Well, synthetics have been used in orthopedic surgery for a long time. I mean, people at first started using things like plaster of Paris, but but really bone graft substitutes really came into their own with the advent of bioglass. And this was in the, in the 1960s, 50s and 60s. And uh, particles of glass were used to fill bony voids. But a lot of work has been done since the 1950s to advance bone graft substitutes and improve the way that they interact with the bone and the way that they are replaced by the bone. And so the ceramics, like what we have here, were started in the 1980s and have evolved substantially to the uh, kind of graphs that we have now. So our Synergy product is synthesized, is, is made for us by a company that makes the same product that's used in the human market. And uh, we engage them to make that for us. Is there any information on long-term successfulness? Long-term successfulness of synthetics in general, bioglass does fill voids. But interestingly, when you do histology on bioglass products, what you find is the particles of glass often remain there for years. And in fact, what happens is the body's response to deal with a foreign object like glass, a silica-based product, is to essentially wall it off. And what it does is it coats the glass particles with hydroxyapatite because bone can make hydroxyapatite. It, that's how it mineralizes you know, its own collagen structure to create mineralized bone. So it walls these glass particles off with hydroxyapatite. And while radiographically, they may look the same density as bone, histologically, if you take a slice through there and look at it under a microscope, what you'll see is pieces of glass that are encased in hydroxyapatite and then fibrous or bony tissue growing in between those particles of glass. And this is what incited, you know, bioengineering to try to develop a better bone graft substitute. And that's why the ceramics made purely of minerals came onto the market. So they were created to have a scaffold structure that looks like a, a structure that cells recognize. And in fact, there are studies that show that cells respond to very specific pore sizes and surface roughnesses. And the Synergy synthetic bone grafts are designed to mimic those in terms of pore size and surface roughness. And so as the beta TCP dissolves, it releases calcium and phosphate into the local environment. And it's thought that the cells that are mineralizing use those local higher concentration of minerals to uh, remineralize when bone is healing. And in fact, the, the best synthetic bone graft substitutes are considered weakly osteoinductive because of this property. Ultimately, they'll be replaced completely by the patient's own bone. So this being a synthetic material, can it be used on different species? Absolutely. That's one of the great advantages of this is that it can be used in any species. It can be used to augment any kind of bone graft. You can mix it with autograft. You can mix it with allograft. So the other nice thing about a synthetic bone graft substitute is that you can visualize it because it's calcium and phosphate, literally, it's uh, visualizable radiographically. And so you can see exactly where you place it. Whereas with orthomix, when you put that in the site, you don't see it because half of it's demineralized. So it doesn't look like you put as much bone graft as you really did in there. But with synthetics, absolutely, it's vi easily radiographically visualizable.
Okay, excellent. What's the shelf life of the product and uh, its handling properties? Well, the shelf life is a five-year shelf life. It's stored at room temperature. It's easy to mail. It's easy to store, and it's easy to use. Again, we recommend you know mixing it with blood before you load it into the site. It helps kind of adhese those particles together a little bit, and then you can load it into the site. It comes conveniently packaged in one cc doses. A package of Synergy Ortho comes in five individually packaged 1cc doses. And there's also uh, dental versions of these, again, conveniently packaged in little uh, screw top vials. So it can be mixed with uh, our ATP products? Yes, it could be mixed with any kind of material that you would put in a bone void and use to provide a scaffold for the cells to migrate in on. It's also our most affordable bone graft product. It's, you know, a, a fraction really of the cost of the ortho mix. It's a little less than the Fusion Express. So it's the most affordable. Of course, it's not got any osseoinductive growth factors with it, but it is a tremendous bone void filler. It does bring along with it the calcium and phosphate, and it has an appropriate scaffold that cells like to migrate on. So in any case, it's better than any kind of bioglass, which has smooth surfaces and doesn't provide any calcium and phosphate to the local environment. So it's an improvement upon bioglass. Okay. Uh, that was my next question. Uh, earlier, you mentioned the bioglass synthetic grafts and, and mineral-based synthetic grafts. What's the difference between them? Well, the glass products really are a, a void filler, but they have smooth surfaces. And if you look at them under the microscope, they can either, depending on the product, can be like shards of glass, tiny shards of glass, or smooth spheres of glass. And in any case, they don't have any surface roughness, whereas the Synergy synthetic, you know, calcium phosphate base do, and they have pores and surface roughness. So it has a higher surface area for cells to migrate in. And then again, as they resorb, it creates spaces, more spaces in the graft for blood vessels to come in and cells to begin laying down new bone. So it's designed to resorb at the same rate that new bone forms. That's the synergy synthetic. The glass is going to be there for, well, I don't think this, I don't think there are studies that clearly say whether the glass ever really completely is resorbed. So one could assume that the glass is there for stays there forever, months to years. Yeah. Thank you, Helen, for spending time with us today and especially for sharing your expertise in the Arthrex School of helping surgeons treat their patients better. If you're a veterinarian interested in learning more, please get in touch with us via email at csvs at arthrex.com or call our customer service department at 1-888-215-3740. If you're interested in more technical questions, feel free to call Dr. Newman directly at VTS, telephone number 253 520 0771. In our next podcast, we'll be discussing Ossiflex, flexible bone membranes.